Do you ever wonder if you're a junior developer? Do you ever wonder if you've been studying code for two years, three years, six months, one year, are you still considered a junior? Or what is it that even makes a developer a junior developer? I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it right after this intro. What is up YouTube? It's good to see you guys. I really hope that you like that drone footage I captured for you. But anyway, what I'm gonna go ahead and talk about right now, are you a junior developer? Or I guess the better question is, what makes a developer a junior developer and I think this is a really big question because I've actually been getting emails and messages on LinkedIn on Twitter and Instagram um, people leaving comments here on YouTube and even on my discord channel if you haven't you need to check that out great community of developers very very active in there I'm active in there all day but people have been asking like man Chris I've been getting interviews I have met recruiters I met companies I went to even meetups and people still tell me I'm kind of in the junior level still right and not even just that people who work professionally who think they're not juniors are still considered juniors and they don't know why right and it's kind of interesting that they, that they don't know why so that is why I'm making this video for you guys today what is it that makes a developer a junior developer um one of the things now speaking from personal experience is as a junior developer you pretty much go into that industry right you're going to that company as someone who really doesn't know as much as someone who's mid-level or someone who is in a senior level right um, as a junior developer although yes it is true that mid-level developers and senior developers still do this quite often um, a junior developer is someone where you can't really write your code from scratch yet. Or let's say HTML, right? That's fairly easy, or CSS, or should be, right? You still can't do it from memory. Um, or even when it comes to JavaScript especially, you know, loops, functions, uh, when it comes to writing arrays, or just, you know, when you write using objects, and when you're, you know, when it comes to manipulating the DOM and doing all these things with JavaScript, you're not really able to do that from just memory yet, but you still need to rely on places like Google to do that. Now, am I saying that it's bad to have to do that? Is it bad where you have to rely on Google? No, wait, that is not bad at all. That's literally what everyone does from a junior to senior level. Like I know a homie who got a position, he's getting paid $300,000 a year to work for this company, right? So I asked him like, what do you do all day? And he told me this, he told me, dude, I literally Google code all day. Meaning, like he's being asked to make things he's never made before. He's being asked to work with languages he's never worked with. And so what does he use to help him do these high level things is that he has to actually depend on Google to figure out how to do these things. But, but the difference between him and a junior developer, he has an idea of how to get that done. He has an idea of what he might need to use, what different languages, what different frameworks that he has to use for that specific project to get it done. And because he at least has that idea on how to get it done, as he's working with it, because he has experience of code too, he's not going to spend as much time on it as a junior. For example, a junior might take six months to write something when that senior developer could probably do it in two months, a month, if not a couple weeks. Because he has an idea, he has that experience. Now, a junior developer is someone where you have no idea how to do it, even when it comes to the basic foundations, foundation of a specific language or framework or library or the, how to build a website within their stack, the LAMP stack, maybe the MERN stack, maybe the MEAN stack, right? When it comes to that specific stack, you still have no idea where to start from from scratch. You still need to depend on Google or the other developer. That's what makes a junior developer. One thing that no one ever touches, I Googled this, I looked for this on YouTube, no one talked about it. I personally think that there are two, right, two types of junior developers. Number one kind of junior developer is within that company. So you're new to that company, it's your first time to that company, right? What happens when you come to that company, you come in as a junior, right? For example, I came in as someone who only knew HTML and CSS, barely any HTML and CSS, no JavaScript. I built my experience. I've been with the company for two years. I work with HTML, CSS. I'm converting a jQuery to Vue.js. I'm working a lot with JavaScript. I'm very comfortable with JavaScript. I can read JavaScript. I can convert JavaScript. I can manipulate it now to someone's old legacy code. I can work with that too. I'm able to learn frameworks fairly easy now because of how comfortable I am with Vue.js. I'm getting more comfortable. And now when I'm learning React on the side, it's very very easy but you have to understand now right in my company with what I work with I'm not a junior I can get everything done but as I'm learning react as I'm learning view and I'm converting it that now makes me kind of like a junior again because I have no idea how to do that it's something totally new but 
as I'm learning Vue now, I'm the only one in my company that knows Vue.js. Guess what? I'm not a Vue junior developer. Even though I'm still fairly new to it, I do know it the most at my company. Does that make sense? So I'm like, I'm not a junior anymore at my company, but I'm able to get what I need to get done to be done. Now, now. I came into that company as a junior. Now, I'm not really a junior anymore. I get all the front-end development projects every single day, day in, day out. I'm able to complete them pretty quickly, and that's cool. But now, I don't want, want to remain where I am. My goal and desire is to raise my level as a developer. That's why I don't post videos five days a week like I used to, because now the time that I used to use to make YouTube videos, I actually make on studying code and improving and securing my future as a developer as well. Now, that's one junior developer. You come into a company, with really not much experience, right? And that's fine, that's normal, that's how everyone starts. Now there's a second kind of junior developer. The second kind of junior developer is, let's say I've been with my company, okay? For 20 years, right? I've been with my company for 20 years, let's say we use a lamp stack on my company, and I do the exact same thing every day for 20 years, right? But the thing is this, at my company, I'm doing the same thing every day for 20 years, just because I'm doing that same thing every day for 20 years, just because that 20 years worth of experience in my, you know, my arsenal as a developer does not mean that I'm actually a mid-level, even a senior level developer. Why? Because I've just been doing the exact same thing every day. If I haven't been studying code on the outside, not improving my skill on my own personal projects to get familiar with other languages, and those more up-to-date languages, frameworks that are very popular, then guess what? At that company, I might be senior level, I might be mid-level, but I'm only good at that company. Does that make sense? But let's say I move on to a new company. I've been working with the LAMP stack my whole life. My whole career. And I go to a company that's using the uh, Mern stack, right? Or the Mean stack. Guess what? When I'm coming to that company, right? What can happen is that in the eyes of that company, even though I have a lot of experience, I can still be seen as someone who's junior. Why? Because I'm not familiar with the stack. I'm not familiar with how they're working. Now, what makes me a little different from a regular junior developer is I have experience. I know how to code around things, right? I know how to figure things out. But it does not mean that I'm actually mid-level, senior level developer. I'm still a junior there. Does that make sense? I really want to talk about this because I think this is very important, especially with all these people who are applying. And so the thing is then, how do I get out? Number one, if you have no experience, no matter how good you are at code, you're still a junior. You have to prove yourself within that company why you're not a junior developer anymore. Secondly though, if you are hired at a company and you are a junior, what you need to do outside on your own time is that you need to be able to study code. You need to be able to improve your skills because you'll only do what you need at the company. You'll stick with that stack, but you don't want to be a developer that's only good at one stack. You want, for example, we're doing Vue at my company. When I'm out, not at work, actually, I kind of stepped it down a little bit, but I'm going to step it up soon. Um, I stopped learning React for a little bit. Just I don't, I'm not studying as much, but. When I'm not doing that, I'm studying React like crazy, right? I'm learning, my goal is to learn actually PHP. I wanted to learn Node, but PHP is more relevant right now here in Orange County at least. Node.js, I'll probably put in maybe a month or two in it in the future. Uh, PHP and React and Vue.js is my main priority right now. But why am I studying React and PHP outside of my work even though I don't do that as much at my job? It's because I don't want to remain where I'm at. Meaning, I love my company, but what I'm saying is that my skill level, I don't want my skill level to stay where I am right now, but I want my skill level to be able to continue to improve. Right. Yeah, so that's what makes a junior developer a junior. Is this that you're new to the company or you're new to that stack at that company? Um, but one way to to fight against that, to compete against that, right? This competitive industry is you have to learn fast. You have to learn hard. When I say learn fast, if you're new to the industry, you will not learn fast. Just learn hard, like study hard. Yeah, so that's what makes a junior developer a junior. Is this that you're new to the company or you're new to that stack at that company? Um, but one way to to fight against that, to compete against that, right? This competitive industry is you have to learn fast. You have to learn hard. When I say learn fast, if you're new to the industry, you will not learn fast. Just learn hard, like study hard, right? But you have to really put a lot of effort to continue learning to remain relevant in this industry. It's very competitive, but it's a growing and very, like, your return of income for the effort you put in is insane. It's worth it, man. And I'm putting so much effort right now. I'm studying so much code than I've ever done in the past. And I'm at the same time, while I'm working as a professional developer, I'm doing all these things, right? So, yeah, man. That's what a junior developer is. If you have any other opinions on what a junior developer is, please make sure that you go ahead and post a comment below. 
give me your opinion. Are you a junior developer? What do you think a junior developer is? Or what do you think someone needs to do to advance to a mid-level developer after being a junior for a couple years, right? Um, by the way, also guys, huge announcement. Devs Life Clothing is actually back now. So I'm wearing this Devs Life. This isn't the new sample, the new shirts that are actually coming out. I'm, I actually have the samples from me coming in, but they're actually live, they're ready to ship. Um, so go ahead, check out devslifeclothing.com. And if you are considering being a developer as well, if you don't know, if you don't mind, you know, if you want to get in the industry to become a junior, go ahead, check out Treehouse in the link description below. But other than that, man, thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much, man. Um, I love doing this, uploading videos for you. It's insane how many messages I get on Instagram, on Twitter and everything. People telling me, even on LinkedIn, how much their lives have been changed because of these videos. I did nothing, man. You guys did all of this. I did not... Like, I did not study code for you. You studied code. You put in the effort. You paid the money. The, you invested your money to learn code. And you brought yourself to those positions. So if you've made, got a job and you haven't told me yet, man, you got to let me know. I'll make sure to share it in my community forums and on my Instagram and everything too. So love you all. Thank you guys for watching, man. This is Krishan, Life World Developer. And I'm out. Peace. Alright guys, what's up IG? So um